Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of What's in That Box. Today we have the next grill, uh, one burner portable gas griddle. Weighs 33.4 pounds. It takes a screwdriver to put it together. Alrighty, so let's open it up and see what we have inside. We got the instruction manual. Uh, this is a QR code for the warranty. This is your, gonna be your base with your one burner. Should be uh, called a one giant burner. Uh, this is the outside of your cover. Then on the inside, all of this stuff was in a box. So we got your screws, put your feet on and probably whatever this is. You got your knob. Let's see, that would go up. Then you got your drip tray, your insert, all that, your handle, that goes on there. And your regulator, that goes to your little propane bottle. All right, let's get the feet put on it. Uh, maybe the handle, and then we'll see where we go from there. Alrighty, got it all put together, got the gas on it. The only thing that I found that I absolutely do not like is you can see, let's just, you can see how that foot is facing that way, that foot is facing the opposite way. So when you go to put it in, these holes that are way too big, I mean, with that one just sitting in there, just not catching anything. And even if you did push it all the way back, you're only catching one side or the other. But really, you're not holding anything. And if you want to move this, I don't know, I don't know, maybe they want you to take the whole thing apart, but it, it holds nothing. So you can't even grab like the bottom of it and move it securely. I believe these feet should be facing the same way. The hole should be a lot smaller. That way when you put it on, you just slip it in and that way it's secure. But it is what it is now. Plus, if it was secured the way it should be, you can see it has a lot of play in it because this picnic table just isn't 100% right. So if you, I don't know, go to a camp somewhere or something and you take this with you you're going to be cooking on an uneven surface because this won't lock in and hold itself tight and while it's slopping around it scrapes I don't know if you can see that or not it scrapes the paint you can see right there on the edge of it all the way around I don't know I guess I'll have to get something and Maybe a little rock or something and stick under there to hold it up that way when I'm cooking it doesn't shake around and get all annoying and stuff but anyway got the propane on uh, I guess let's take the griddle off all right so we have the griddle off you just just take turn it slowly 
Alright, that one didn't take. That one didn't take. That one took. Can't see it, but you can see the probably could have seen the metal change colors. Alrighty, so let's talk about this griddle. It's already seasoned, or so the uh, instructions claim. So we should just have to heat it up and get cooking, which is what we're going to do now. Alrighty, so last night he got a little wet, so I didn't finish this video, but you can see there's no water on the pan, so the lid did its job. One thing I would like it to, to like to talk about is this hole and this lip. I guess that's two things to talk about, huh? But uh, if you have like a stir fry like I did, this lip just isn't enough to hold as much as I did so you'd have to do smaller batches other deal with the mess but the hole in the back that thing needs a plug so when you're cooking you're not losing all kinds of food in it but other than those two things and like I said earlier these see like they're already starting to rust a little bit from it moving around but it is what it is. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. It'll help other people find it. And as always, have a great day.